Homosexuality is a belief. It is not mandatory in that person. Aren't you the one 14-year-old host of that conservative talk show? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Caden Cowgear and I am host of the Caden Cowgear program. I could tell because you look and sound exactly the same in person. But my, has your hair grown? Anyways, I don't understand. Why do you think homosexuality is a belief? Because people are not born that way, no matter what Lady Gaga says. It is a decision. Next you will be telling me that global warming is a fraud because it was chilly last winter and the theory of evolution is a scientific conspiracy because monkeys are still here. Let's do a thought experiment. So you believe people can consciously choose their orientation? Yes. And you believe people would choose an orientation that opens them up to ridicule, bullying, and hatred? Yes. And you believe people would choose an orientation that grants them less rights than their straight counterparts? Yes. So I can conclude that you sat down one day, consciously weighed the pros and cons, and chose to turn any attraction you may have had towards men entirely to women and to be straight in order to be treated well in society and maintain all of your civil rights? You're not listening. People just choose to be gay. It is getting worse where I am at. I see younger people that is turning out to be homosexuals. It's equal, boy and girl both. And it is sickening. It sickens me. Did you ever consider that the reason you may be noticing younger people coming out gay is because society is slowly becoming more accepting of gays and thus, they feel they do not have to hide their orientation anymore? No. People are turning gay younger and younger because it is a fad. We've got about 30 teenagers in this county that I am at that are homosexuals, and you know what? I knew these kids when they were in elementary school and they weren't gay. I knew them when they were in the beginning of middle school and you know what? They were not homosexuals. They just decided all of a sudden, you know what? I think I am going to be gay. Sweetheart, could you do me a favor? Yes. Please use your fucking head. You can't really believe that elementary school kids who haven't even hit puberty yet, don't even know where babies come from, and who believe in fucking cooties will go around holding hands with the same sex, or even the opposite sex, for that matter. Though some gay people knew they were gay at that young an age, a lot chose not to act on it for fear of ridicule and don't come out until they are much older and more confident in themselves. Besides, following your logic, Kids don't give in to peer pressure until they are in middle school. Don't you realize that elementary school kids are even more impressionable than middle or high school kids? So if they were being encouraged to be gay, wouldn't they have come out at like, age 6 or something? No. You wanna know why they are becoming homosexuals? It is because they are being encouraged by it. President Obama says, it's alright, it's okay, you were born that way. You know what, it gets better rather than telling them they need to turn away from homosexuality, and that it is a perverted belief, it is immoral, and it is not natural. Are you aware that scientists have observed gay behaviors in wild animals? This suggests that it is a natural occurrence, and you are bullying people for something they cannot help. We aren't animals, we are humans. And I'm not for bullying homosexuals, I believe that it is wrong. But when you are trying to teach them the word of God, and they consider that bullying, yeah I find that a big problem, with not being allowed to convert them to my religion and telling them that they will go to hell unless they repent from this belief. Oh no. Please stop. Fuck. Shit. Damn. There are so many things wrong with your logic that I am not sure where to start. Seriously, what is with people taking such issue with the idea that we are animals too? And can you not see that by demonizing these people you are bullying them? Furthermore. How do you even begin to consider that telling people they are perverted, unnatural and immoral will be an effective way of converting them to a religion that doesn't seem to accept them? And tell me, how is it that you get such perfectly fucking arched eyebrows? Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Anyways, according to the Bible, all sins are equal in the eyes of God. What makes you think gays will go to hell but you won't for any sins that you may have committed, such as lying, stealing? or dishonoring your parents? Or should I say, judging, it sounds like you just have a hang up with this supposed gay sin in particular, which doesn't make sense, considering it is one of the very few so-called sins that you have. 
100% no control over, versus lying or stealing which you can actually control. Why don't you go apeshit on liars and thieves instead? Let me tell you this, President Obama is making kids gay. They're encouraging kids to try out homosexuality since they are saying it is okay. They're indoctrinating kids to this wicked belief. Really? A fundamentalist Christian 14-year-old boy hosting a conservative talk show with painfully obvious Rush Limbaugh and Glenn Beck influences talking about indoctrination? Oh, the irony. I'm not indoctrinated just because I am 14. I form my own opinions. Age has very little to do with how obvious it is that you are just parroting what you hear others say. One only has to take all of three seconds to realize that the way you talk, all the way down to your fucking show logo are blatant ripoffs of Rush and Beck. Their opinions may not hold up to the test of reason, but at least they are original. Listen, you may be an extremely frustrating individual to talk to, but I do not hate you. You are not that much younger than me. Everyone says something ignorant at one point in their life, especially at your age, when you have a tendency to idolize people, which, by the way, is something the Bible says is wrong. But everyone who is reaching out to you right now is trying to help you realize how silly you sound before you become the butt of future YouTube jokes like Justin Bieber and Rebecca Black. Please, for your own sake, and for the love of all that is good and holy, kindly shut the fuck up.